Hi everybody! I'm here to tell you about another book I just finished reading called The Scythe by Neil Shusterman. This book is set in a post-mortality world where humanity advanced to a point where disease and old age have been eliminated. The sum of all human knowledge once kept in the cloud has evolved and become the Thunderhead, the AI that governs the world. And the Scythes were created at the same time as the Thunderhead, the only bringers of permanent death and tasked with keeping the population in check. Scythes are independently governed and operate completely outside of and without the help of the Thunderhead. They have their own governing hierarchy and follow 10 commandments, which I will read to you now. 1. Thou shalt kill. 2. Thou shalt kill with no bias, bigotry, or malice aforethought. 3. Thou shalt grant an anum of, an Im of immunity to the beloved of those who accept your coming, and to anyone else whom you deem worthy. 4. Thou shalt kill the beloved of those who resist. 5. Thou shalt serve humanity for the full span of thy days, and thy family shall have immunity as recompense for as long as you live. 6. Thou shalt lead an exemplary life in word and deed, and keep a journal of each and every day. 7. Thou shalt kill no scythe beyond thyself. 8. Thou shalt claim no earthly possessions save thy robes, ring, and journal. 9. Thou shalt have neither spouse nor spawn. 10. Thou shalt be beholden to no laws beyond these. This book is told in chapters alternating between two narrators, Citra and Rowan, both teens selected by Scythe Faraday to be his apprentices. Citra and Rowan each have an experience that brings them to the notice of Scythe Faraday, who chooses to take two apprentices instead of the usual one. Neither one wants the job, but they accept the terms of the apprenticeship immunity for themselves and their families for the duration of the one-year internship, and lifetime immunity for their families if they are selected for the scythedom. While they have different motives and are at times allies or competitors, Citra and Rowan will shape the future of the scythedom. I will warn you that there is violence in this book. After all, Citra and Rowan are learning how to be killers. There is blood and some gore. For example, one of Rowan's friends likes to jump off from high places to experience the thrill of falling before he splats, and then to eat the delicious ice cream at the revival facility when they bring him back to life. Some of the less scrupulous sites in the story prefer mass reapings, killing hundreds of people at a time. So don't say I didn't warn you. Scythe is the first book in a trilogy. The third book, Toll, was released in November of last year. I would recommend this book and series to readers who enjoy stories where teens are faced with unimaginable choices, deal with the morality and consequences of those choices, and challenge the status quo. Like The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, or The Death Note manga by Tsugumi Oba. Happy reading! Happy reading!